Today we've got another cozy fall journal with me. This one's even cozier than the last. Major fall vibes, you know how it is. So let's just get right into journaling. I clipped down the pages so it would be easier to journal. And I'm just laying out all the stuff that I have. Different washi tapes, receipts, stickers, glue. Also, let me know if you prefer when I do voiceovers or if you would like a no-talking journal with me. For the first side of the page, I'm cutting out this little map from my ticket to the pumpkin patch and then all my different receipts I'm just collaging together, tearing them apart, cutting them up, you know. This one receipt was really torn apart, but I think it just adds to the look, so just go with the flow when it comes to what you're journaling with, and you can make whatever work. I'm taking the map and gluing it to the top of the page, and then gluing all the receipts with the leftover space. I say this a lot, but I love adding in receipts and different mementos of my day because I think it adds a lot when I go to look back on the spread. Like for example, these receipts show me a place, a time, what I was purchasing, and that can say a lot about my day and about whatever I was doing. I found these Charlie Brown stickers at Target that are Halloween themed. So I took basically all the ones that had pumpkins on them for this spread because it was very on brand since I did go to a pumpkin patch. I finally had to remove the bottom clip because it was starting to get in my way as I decided I wanted to add some washi tape. For some reason this wood patterned washi tape felt like fall to me so I added that as well as this one with leaves and orange and white polka dot washi tape. I love adding washi tape to all of my spreads. I think it can add so much and really can unify the page. For the other side of the spread, I was ready to make the page where I was going to write and I wanted to use some different papers. I ended up deciding on some papers that I got from Michaels in the scrapbooking paper section and I just tore off little pieces of each. Then I'm just configuring them in a way that I like. Finally had to take off the second clip and I'm just gluing it down how I like it. If I wanna make a spread feel fancy, layering ripped up pieces of paper is one of my favorite things to do. And because I love washi tape, I went ahead and added some onto this side of the spread. I used some of the same washi tapes so that the spread would feel more cohesive. The leaf washi tape is from a set from my stationery pal haul. The wood washi tape is from a set from Paper Source. And the orange polka dot one I've had for too long to know where it's from. The solid orange is also from stationery pal and is in my previous haul. Sometimes I just sit there and struggle with placement, but eventually I just stuck down this sticker because at the end of the day, it's not that serious. And because why not, I grabbed one of my mushroom stamp stickers from Stationery Pal and threw it on the page. And then in the Sharpie pen, I used it to write out the day of the week. And that's the final spread. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.